hello friends and welcome back to another video happy monday today i just wanted to come on here and, and talk to you about five questions that i wrote down that a lot of my buyers are asking and i wrote them down the first one is the housing market going to crash no it is not so far what the feds are saying is that they're trying to bring down the interest rates i know that right now we do have more inventory which is a positive thing for the buyers looking to negotiate prices Number two, what is happening with the mortgage interest rates? Well, they have gone up. Uh, the problem here with the shock that everybody went into was that in the last three to four months, they've gone from a 3.8 to like a six and a half, now seven. In a short amount of time, that is pretty high um, for that matter, but we've been here before. We've been here a couple, you know, what was it, like four or five years ago, we've been at these rates and it really didn't surprise anybody that people were still buying homes, but I think it just happened really fast. Number three, if the economy slows down, what's going to happen with the real estate market? I think the inflation is probably what's holding a lot of people back from making a move or from even buying. Now, I am going to say the people that do have the cash and still in the market and kind of look at the other side of, you know, the rainbow per se is basically they're looking that if they, they're going to buy a home during a higher interest rate, they're going to be able to refinance. Now, the feds are saying they're looking to drop the rates by beginning of the next year. But hey, keep your fingers crossed. Question number four, what's going to happen the second half of the real estate market, which we're already toward creeping toward the end of the year, believe it or not. Well, so far, sales have dropped. I, I am hearing from economy specialists that they're saying that the real estate market is down about 38 percent from last year and again this was a totally different market you know there was low inventory very low rates now we're at a higher inventory with a little higher inventory and higher interest rates so that does kind of change the realm of things very last question this is a big one should i buy a home now during inflation, some people say, or should I buy a home this year? The needs are different for everybody in particular. There are some people that don't have a choice because I'll give you an example. We had a family that, you know, their landlord said, hey, we need to, we're going to sell our house. So they had no choice but to look into either renting or buying. I opened up an option to them about buying and lo and behold, they were able to qualify even for a condo. Now, even if you're going to get yourself in a condo, guaranteed you'll be able to get out of this condo maybe two to five years with some equity in hopes of getting into a home. That's the goal. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this that will update you on real estate market. Have a great day.